In this video, you'll learn how to log on to 2FA1 using an RFID card. Since you haven't enrolled in 2FA1, you first must log on with a username and password and open up the 2FA1 client. Since I have UAC enabled, I must go ahead and select yes. Since I haven't created an account before, and this is the first time I'm enrolling, I need to go ahead and create my account in 2FA1. What I'm doing here is creating a local account. This, this process is ideal for proof of concepts or pilots, but really not ideal for production environments. Since I'm going to be enrolling a RFID or proximity card, I'll go ahead and click on the proximity RFID. And I need to enter in my Windows or Active Directory password and confirm that. On the next screen, I'm going to need to present my card to the connected reader. We currently support readers from RFIDs from OmniKey, which is owned by HID. And the readers that are embedded in systems such as uh, Panasonic Toughbooks and Dell Latitude and Rugged Series laptops as well as a number of other uh, manufacturers. For a complete list of supported readers, either contact 2FA Sales or look in our 2FA1 Client Administrator Guide. Here what I've done is created a PIN. By default, the PIN must be used uh, or must be created in 2FA1. It doesn't necessarily have to be used. The PIN by default needs to be at least six characters in length. Um, the PIN policy can be changed. Uh, locally, it can be changed by going to, into the system settings and the PIN policy. In a production environment, it's best to select and configure your PIN policy through 2FA1 server. That way, when user enrolls, they'll be uh, required to select a PIN that's compliant with the uh, organization's PIN policy. So I've gone ahead and created my, my PIN. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm not going to roll anything else at this time, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. It's going to require me to log off. I'm going to go ahead back to the main enrollment or the main logon screen here. You'll see that I have proximity RFID credential provider. I'm going to go ahead and just touch my card. Now this could be a fob, it could be an NFC enabled phone. Go ahead and uh, touch my card to the reader. You'll see that it, no it identifies my username. I don't have to put in my username. And I go ahead and put in the PIN that I entered during enrollment. And I go ahead and click Enter. And I'm presented with my Windows desktop. Now from here, there are a number of things that I can do. I could go ahead and click Lock Workstation. And that would go ahead and, and lock the screen. I can also go ahead and tap my card on the reader, and that'll go ahead and lock my screen. And through 2FA1, you can configure the system to do a number of different um, actions when you present the card to the reader, such as do nothing, lock the screen, or to log the user off. Also, when unlocking, you can set PIN policy so the PIN is either required or not required when unlocking your system. By default, the PIN is always required, so I presented my card to the reader again, entering my PIN and pressing Enter. And you'll see that I'm presented with my Windows desktop. 